I had to write this book because I was accused of crimes against humanity somewhere at the Hague. Can you imagine that preaching and standing for marriage would get you accused of genocide, of war crimes at the ICC? In 2009, America elected Barack Obama. It was the height of the gay rights movement advancing into the White House. And Barack Obama used the White House as a bully pulpit to chop down homosexuality globally and even Africa. This fight continues now, and I'm here with a simple message. I'm here with you in that fight. When you look back on these years, you will see a time in which we as a nation finally recognize relationships between two men or two women as just as real and admirable as relationships between a man and a woman. Uganda at the same time did not take it sitting down. We came up with the anti-homosexuality law. You can imagine this little country, Uganda, had a big fight with Barack Obama. The entire world's media came down on Uganda. Ugandans were discussing about the anti-homosexuality bill. The world was spinning it as the kill the gays bill. This story gets the bottom of the spin. It blows away the myths. It shows that we are people who have been attacked. A political agenda has been made to destroy our culture, to destroy our government, our laws, and our religions. We stood up and we said, no, we do not want that. We are straight. They say we are queer. We said we are straight. It is not genetic. It is not congenital. It is behavior. That's why I said I'm now going to sign the bill because I am convinced that these people are not born like that. They just learn and they can unlearn what they have learned. So it's a book about Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, David Bahati, Rebecca Kadag, American preachers, Lou Engel, Joyce Meyer, Bishop Senyonjo, Ban Ki-moon, Virgin Branson. This book is about that resistance. I think everybody should buy this book. Whether you are for gay rights or against gay rights. In fact, gays should support me because I've written their history in Africa. What is your message to Western human rights groups, to President Obama, respect, to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender re re people? Respect African societies and their values. What happened in Uganda is a story worth reading.